Okay, yeah, we're back. Let's we're let's back. do this. <laughs> I saw an emerald over here, so we're gonna go to that and cool. We're gonna solve the mystery of the lost emeralds. Is there um? What do you no, mean? there isn't. Are there any more upgrades we can get for Knuckles? Uh, Other than his two little hand things? Out of curiosity? Um, I don't think so. Kasana got like the fast shoes and like his uh, super gay bracelet. Tails got like his little badge, his little scout badge. I was just curious whether or not Knuckles got anything else other than his little, his little gloves, you know? God, I don't know where it went. It went through the wall. I don't know where it went. Uh, did we break the game? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, can you help me? Oh, oh, uh, oh, there it is. Okay, got it. Got, got it. Gucci Mane. I don't know why. <laughs> I love I love that that one meme or whatever it was where uh it, it was like uh Gucci Mane's uh trial and they're like how do you uh Gucci Mane are you, are you guilty? And he's like bitch I might be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bitch I might be. Uh, what was the um damn God, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was, um... I don't know where to go. Have you seen... Whoa, 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 okay. Oh, come on, hold on. Have you seen Little Karibos, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged series? Um, I think so. It is. He, little, for those who don't know, Little Karibo is considered the father of abridging. Because he's... Father. He's considered to be the first person to ever abridge. Whoa, 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 okay. I didn't know you could do that. Neither did I. Uh, so yeah, he's a, he's considered the father of abridging because he was the first one to uh, be recorded to actually abridge a series and stuff like that. So he uh, did Yu-Gi-Oh, which is hilarious. Hilarious. For those who don't know. And there's a scene there, it's like, like episode, it's in like the 50s or so, something like that. So it was like 2013. Wow. Where, uh, this seems like a good, that, was, that seems like a good place for a crystal to be, you know, nope. just saying. Mm -mm. But, um. What? What? <laughs> you saw that, right? Yeah, that was really weird. Up here? Oh, I've already been here, I think. Yeah, you that was, that was the first one. Can you help me? No, you can't fucking help me. <laughs> Where? I think it's telling you to dig with your little knuckle hand. Well, yeah, but okay, you see that little little gray crystal thing at the bottom yeah. of the screen? So that's going to turn like blue if I'm getting close, and then it turns green if I'm getting closer, and then it turns yellow if I'm getting even closer, and then red when I'm like right on top of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Um, so... Oh. 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 What? Right on top of it. Right on top of it. Where is it? Right here. Does he have it? Yep. Noise. Got he. So what ends up happening is it's um like Kaiba versus Yugi. And have you ever seen, did you ever watch the original Yu-Gi-Oh uh, anime? Yeah, of course. You remember in the Battle City Tournament where... This know, doesn't include any spoilers, does it? No. Okay. Not for us. Well, I'm just making sure because there's still like a younger audience that hasn't seen Yu-Gi-Oh! And I don't, I don't want to spoil that sort of... No. Well, th for those who don't know, uh, the guy named Yama Yugi is a pharaoh. Spoiler alert. Oh, shit. And when he duels Kaiba, he's sitting there, Yugi, you know, is sitting there being like, you know... Um, what does he say? He says when he talks about, you know, this duel, like, it's based on the fate of the world, because... I'm an old pharaoh, and you're my priest, and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, and kind of was always, you know, a non-believer. Ah, oh, can't believe you believe in this Egyptian crap. Blah, 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 blah. This is just a children's card game. So in the bridge series, he's like, you don't believe you truly are a 3,000-year-old pharaoh. And he's like, bitch, I might be. <laughs> and it's perfect, and I love it, and it's, it's pretty good. That's funny. And this is where we kick Knuckles shit in. Yep. There's Sonic. 
Eggman was right. Yeah, there's a plot going on here that I don't understand. Wait. What did we call... What did we call Robotnik? It was Nick. Dr. Nick. Dr. Nick. Yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Huh. Hi. How you doing? Put a mop. No, oh, okay. <laughs> he's got. Whoa, a, he's buddy. Got a, he's got a New Yorker accent, doesn't he? Who? Knuckles. Doesn't he sort of like a New Yorker? Oh, accent? oh shit! We're fighting. Okay, uh, sure. not really. I Is don't think. Not? I thought. Uh, you're just kicking his shit in. Uh, Jesus. yeah. That's how easy it is to beat up Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference between the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emeralds? The Chaos Emeralds are mini Master Emeralds. Mm. Well, so in the game they call them, like, the servers. Okay. And then the Master Emerald is... The Master Server. Yeah. Well, Master, not Server. Mm. You know, so if you wanted to put it in like a, a, oh shit, what is it called? You know when there's a king and queen. Bishop. No, I, I'm I'm trying to say like, that that sort of governmental system. Oh, a um. You know what I'm talking hierarchy? about. Hierarchy. Hierarchy. No, I don't think that's no. 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 But you you know what I'm talking about. Uh, can't remember what the word is for it right now. But uh, so if you think about it that way, the uh, master emerald is going to be the uh, uh, parliament. Ooh, that's a smart word you have right there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Pretty sure it's called a hierarchy. I don't think that's right. Are you sure? Okay, Tyler, you you don't need to be concerned because, uh, he Tyler's looking at me. Right, it's right. a monarchy. Monarchy. That's that's it. what it's called. It's a monarchy. Yeah. So, um, damn it, camera. Fucking okay, um. So yeah, Tyler's looking at me like, "What the fuck is going on?" Because we can we can hear things uh, going on in our headphones. Uh, but Tyler doesn't understand how audio works. So what I've done is I've like highly compressed uh, all of the noise that's going into, or all of the signal that's going through the uh, microphone, uh, which basically means. Uh, Everything that was really loud uh, gets uh, louder. No, it gets uh, limited to like kind of the same level as the things that are quieter. Well, it it basically like. Uh, Kind of, it shrinks the signal down. Hmm. So, like, say you have a peak at, like, uh, I don't know, negative 20 dB, and you put a compressor on it, you can have it, like... Okay, this isn't going to make sense to anybody, so I don't think there's any point in explaining those who it. do not know, Corlin um, is an auto engineer. He's been he's been going to school for auto engineering for what almost six years now. No. Did you change? Cause you've been in college <clears throat> since four or five years. You've been in college for five years. Well, did you change, yes. Did you change partway through? Is that what it was? Uh no. So, um. Yes. I'm an audio engineer. Yes. I, I have I, a degree. I I actually I do. Do you? I do have a degree. I have oh, I an associate's in commercial music. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, well, the thing is, like, right now, I'm hoping to get it any day now. Mm. <laughs> in the mail. It's going in the mail, eventually. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, I am a certified, uh, audio engineer in the studio. Ooh. 
and I'm I'm hoping uh, well not hoping but I'm I'm going to get uh, my live sound certification uh, after next semester. Oh wow! And music business certification. So uh, yeah, for those who don't know, Corlin just anything audio, he's the master of so. I'm right there with you, audience. Everything he just said went through one year and right through that. I have no idea what he's talking about. He sees like he sits there and tells me all the time, he's like, "Yeah, we're gonna do this now, so that we can do this with our headphones and this and that." I'm like, "Cool." So to put compression into layman's terms, I'm gonna try this real quick. Just stick with me. It brings all the quiet noises up. Oh. That's not. The best way to look at it, but that's the way you know. That's how you that's just, the easiest way to explain. That's it. how you explain it to someone of my caliber. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us through this episode. We'll see you next time. Uh, I don't know, man. I got a lot of anxiety suddenly. I don't know what's going on anymore. Where's my life?